In this uh, tutorial, we are going to look at how to create a chair. And also we are going to look at uh, the Boolean tool, when to use it, when not to use it, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, using the Boolean tool and how to model this chair using the box modeling technique. So let's get started. So first thing what we are going to do is create a cube. So I'll select the box primitive and click on the cube. Click and drag to cre create the cube. And then I'm going to create a sphere. And then I'll do this in the top view. Click and drag to create the sphere. And in the front view, you can simply move the sphere up. So you can see that the sphere is coming out. What we are going to do is we are going to use the, these two geometries to create a third more complex geometry and that is done using a boolean operation so what you need to do is select either one of the objects and then from the standard primitives here you, we are going to go to compound objects here you will see the boolean tool you click on it how it works is there are different operands which are added here and then there are different operations that happen here. So what I want is that a dome shape should appear uh, inside this cube here. So I'm going to subtract this sphere from this cube. And to do that, you select the subtract option and then you click on the add operand option and click on the other object. So the sphere one is added and you can see that the sphere is subtracted from the cube and you get a new third geometry. So if you click on the edged faces on, you will see that a new geometry is created. Uh, and if you had to create this any other way, it would have taken very long time and you would not get a precise result like this. However, this is not the best of options to create a geometry. If you intend to add texture mapping or if you're planning to add any other modifiers to uh, create some more complex uh, geometry from this one if you just leave if you just leave this object the way it is then it is fine i'll explain you what i'm talking about in this next example when you would need to further add um, other modifiers and why would you do that so for example if you go to modify panel and add a mesh smooth modifier to this one and this is the common modeling technique you create a low poly model and then you add a mesh mood to make a high poly model uh, the problem here is that our boolean operation is still there so there are two separate objects which are getting messed up you can see that when you add a mesh smooth modifier uh, the geometry is not as what you would have desired uh, otherwise from this object. To explain further, let us delete this object and we will reset this again. Don't save. And I will create a box again. And coming back to our uh, chair project let us start working on that and I will create the geometry first using the boolean tool and then I will uh, create the same geometry using the box modeling tool and then uh, we will look at why box modeling tool uh, works better uh, than the boolean operation so I'll create another cube and that cube is going to be subtracted so what you see here is this in the top view this is the backrest of the chair and these are the armrests so i'll scale it down a little bit so this is uniform and this is the base of the chair and this is where you sit so you can see that i'm going to subtract the dark green object from the light green or blue object so that you get a basic profile for a chair and then you have to make sure that 
the front part and then the top part are coming out of the box. It cannot have an object like this. It has to come out, so then we can subtract it and then you get a geometry. So again, we will select the chair, go to compound objects, go to Boolean, our chair, the first object is selected. We are going to use the subtract tool and then we are going to click on add operand and click on the other one. I will add edged faces so you can see the faces. And then you get the basic chair profile. Now this was created really quickly but the problem here is again if you look at this, this has more than four faces. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine faces. And that is going to create a problem when you're going to add an edit poly modifier to this. Okay, so we will right click and then convert this to editable poly. So we get rid of the Boolean information, make the object simple. And now I will add a mesh smooth modifier. with two iterations and look at the result what you get from that okay so the geometry is not clean or not desirable when you're using a boolean operation if you wanted an object like this and not convert it to anything else then you're fine with booleans but if you want to further modify this object then boolean is not a good option. Now let us look at how to create a nice soft edge chair like this using the box modeling tool. So what you need to do is you need to create a box and here we have to understand what would be the right strategy. So this will come by practice of course. So if you look at the top view you need one, two, three, four segments here, and you need one, two, three segments here. And then you need one, two, and three segments in height. So you have to create a cube. I will start with a box rather than a cube. So I'll create this length and width, and then I will only create height up to here. Move it out, so we have another object. So now you can see that there are no lines, but we need this line and this line. So we will add length segments. So you get these two lines. If I bring this object together and remove the grid, you can see. So I got this line, this line, but in this case now, the lines are going through and through. And that way, every face that we create is a four-sided face. So that is very important when you're modeling. Okay. And then we will add another segment here to get this line. All right. And then we will extrude this up so that you will get more geometry on top. So... I will add, either you can add an edit poly modifier or convert this to editable poly. The result is the same. Now we need more space here. This is, this is the area where we have this opening. So I can select these. And then if I scale them out only in Y axis, don't click in the middle and scale it. Just click on the Y axis and move it aside. And then you will select these and then move it back and that way you this is your armrest and the back and this is going to be your seat area so you click on the polygon tool select this control this and select all these three and then all the actually one two three four five polygons and we will extrude them up then we'll try to match it here so now you can see that the same geometry is created it took a little bit more steps to create this than this one but you can see that 
there are no lines here no lines here no lines here but these are all four-sided polygons and when you have all these four-sided polygons then you get a desirable result when you add a mesh smooth modifier so let us add a mesh smooth modifier and you can see that the geometry is much more uh, similar to what we would have liked to see than what you get here with the same looking object. 